Hey everybody. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Make 9 challenge that I'm working on and give you a little update. And I never did show you all the fabric that I got um, for it. I'm not going to talk so much about the knitting today because I did show uh, the knitting that I plan to do. I've cast on for the socks, but I haven't gotten very far. So that's something I definitely need to work on. But for the sewing, that is well underway and I've completed one of the make nine and got part of the other one done. So I've got a bunch of pieces back here and uh, when I write the blog post I'll make sure that everything's kind of on there so you can see. But um, this, well, and this, and this are all from um, 100 acts of sewing. It is uh, dress number two. It's got like the, this one has the pockets here. This one has pockets on the inside seams, right in there. This one's got it on the front as well. They don't really count for my make nine. <laughs> they just happen to be plaid. And uh, plaid seems to be what I'm doing a lot of. But um, this gal right here is, this is the skirt that I said I wanted to make. This is the circle skirt in plaid flannel. Love it. And it's got the little side pockets. I wear mine, you see the pockets are a little bit low. I wear mine a little bit higher. And so I adjusted the pockets to where I wanted them to be. And then this, remember I said in one of my make nines, my one of my little squares for make nine is two or three new style blouses, which is why these don't count, because I really wanted a new style blouse. So um, this is the Sutton blouse, and you can see it's got the plaid on this part, but the dots on that part, because why not? But I like it enough, I'm going to make another one of these. It's really cool. Um, and this is the uh, Audacier design, the Tara Rochelle. So, I probably said that wrong, sorry. Um, but this, I'm not sure it counts, because it feels more tunicky than blousey. So, while this feels very blousey, that counts for that. Um, but, I have another one cut out. Where did I have that? Oh, yeah. I have some stuff cut out on my table waiting to work on for the Make 9. So, in this fabric, I have cut out a um, fringe and notch dress, or a chalk and notch dress fringe. So I made another one of those a couple weeks ago, and then I decided I wanted to do it in plaid. So I have a plaid one cut out, and then the wide leg pants, which is on one of those blocks. I have a wide leg pant cut out of this. Oh, and I forgot to grab the other one. There's another little tiny piece right here have another pair cut out like this. So I did the Winslow and I did it in shorts and I'm going to be doing it in long pants and it's going to be in this fabric. And then I did, it was a simplicity pattern. I tested in my own hand dyed and I'm going to do it in this, but shorter. My hand dyed, I did as long pants. And so that's, I'm going to do shorter. I've been doing you know, when I think of what I'm going to show or what I'm going to knit, I'm like plaid, let's do plaid because of this year. Um, and because I have so much plaid fabric and you'll see some of it. Um, to say, I even went so far as to make plaid panties, which is out of a um, brushed knit, which is this stuff. And I have this brushed knit in several different ones. I'm not even going to show you all of them because I got small pieces in a whole bunch of different plaids. Um, you know, one, one and a half yard pieces thinking I could just make leggings out of them or a t-shirt. One and a half yards is plenty for a long sleeve t-shirt or a pair of leggings out of this particular fabric. Um, but there's always a little bit left over. I can make a pair of panties out of it. So I can just keep doing that. And uh, the whole panty thing, I'm going to talk about that at, at some point too because I've been testing fabric and how I want the panties done. So doing all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, let's see. What else is in plaid? I have, I pulled a bunch of plaid off of my shelf. You can see that's not even my whole fabric stash. Let's be honest. That is probably what you're seeing. Maybe a fifth of it. I've been sewing a long time and there's a lot of it that's still at home. This is at the shop. So this is, and I do most of my sewing at the shop. So, um, pieces as I need them they come over here. Uh, this is a Liverpool knit and I have a couple of different versions of plaid in this and it's just a nice, it doesn't, so like this, the brushed spandex stuff, it's like really tight and it's good for panties because it kind of sticks with you all day long. Same with the leggings. Um, it's very similar to what LuLaRoe uses for their legging fabric. Uh, but this stuff has it's got a moderate four-way stretch, but I like a really big on this. And it's just nice. It drapes nice. It kind of holds nice. It's not super thin. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it yet, but it would make a really nice dress or even a longer sort of summer coat thing. There's that. I found plaid in sweater fabric. So this is a sweater knit and, you know, it's a slubby sweater knit in plaid and it's kind of see-throughy but but a little odd and the the neat things about it is that it's teal and hot pink which happens to be the spunky eclectic shop colors so I'm kind of excited about this and it's just been sitting there I'm not sure what to make out of it we'll see there's a few pieces here that I really don't know what to make out of in the uh, one of the squares I had for make nine was plaid jeans, jeans, but then you know everything had to turn to plaid. So there's this piece of fabric, but it's more like chambray, it's not, it's not very thick, and I don't even know how to show you that on here, but it's not very thick, and it's definitely a printed uh, fabric. I like it, I like it a lot, and I plan to use it, but it's probably going to be more like a shirt dress then it will be a pair of jeans. And that's when I found, I'm gonna have to stop piling someplace else. Then I found this. And it's a very stiff denim -y fabric. And it's more checkered than plaid, but it might have to do if I don't find another plaid denim that I like better. Uh, I think these would make really great Landers pants. Whew. We're getting there, folks. So I said I needed to make a jacket. This is some jacket fabric. Oh my gosh, I really like this. It's a wool blend. It's not 100% wool, uh, but it's a really nice brushed blend. You can see the back is almost as good as the front. I really, really like this piece of fabric. I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of it. It really doesn't have any stretch, which is fine for a winter jacket. But I'm thinking a shorter waistcoat sort of type jacket. Something I can throw on and wear when I go out. This piece of fabric was kind of a surprise. I don't know what to do with it yet. It is, feels felty, it's not wool or anything, but it's very, very thick and very, very soft. And mostly I just wanna, you know, lay with it and cuddle and love it and, you know. But, moving on. I have a ton of fancy fabrics in plaid. This is a crepe, but I have chalice and rayons and chiffon. This is, I don't know if I can show you, peel off a little piece here. This is a chiffon. I have two pieces of chiffon. I really couldn't tell you where I got some of these fabrics, but they are mostly from fashionfabrics.com, fabric.com, Joann's, L.A. Finch Fabrics. Mm, I think a piece might be from Hearts. And another piece, there's a couple more pieces coming that are from Hawthorne. Those are the places that I always look for whatever I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. There's Oh, yeah, this is another piece of chiffon that I got. This was clearance at Joann's, so I doubt there's any more left, but... I looked over this piece several times. I remember seeing it, not seeing it, 
and just sort of whatever. And then once I decided I was doing plaid, I was like, oh, that has to come home. So there's that. Oh, and then there's lace. I know. There's a lot of plaid here. Some of it's from Stash. Some of it's old. I swear I didn't just shop this much. This is a piece of lace. This is just the way that it's woven. There's really light spots. It's hard to tell. There's like lacy open squares within the whole plaid. It is really, really beautiful. And I have, again, no idea what I'm doing with the chiffons and the lace. Um, but, you know. Uh, these are just shirting fabrics. I think this one is from Hawthorne. And it's pretty open plaid, but really nice. And these are stashed ones. And just, you know, just for shirtings. They're just very lightweight. And I might just make summer tank tops out of them or something. These, this piece of fabric is just like the fabric that I used on this skirt. And I've used on something else that I don't have here because I used it last year. This stuff is called Kaufman Mammoth. And you can find it in a bunch of different places. It is some of the best flannel I've seen in a long time. I mean, it's not as super thick as we used to get in the like um, 80s and 90s, but it is pretty thick. It's nice. I really like it. So if you're looking for a good piece of flannel, these guys are probably going to have a nice piece for you. That's almost it. There's one more piece of fabric. And this one was incredibly cheap when I found it. And uh, it was on clearance. And I love it. I have no idea. I was thinking I might just make a maxi skirt, like kind of LuLaRoe style with the big yoga waistband and just a plain maxi skirt. But this is, you can see it. Look at those sequins. It is a sequined plaid fabric. And it's also a knit. Sequin plaid. This is like the best piece that I've gotten. And if I hadn't been doing the Make Nine Challenge with plaid in mind, I never would have picked this up. Never, ever would have picked this up. But I'm so glad I did because, you know, I need these sequins. Now, Beth keeps talking about doing jogging pants in sequins, and I might have to do that. I still really like the maxi skirt idea, but I have to tell you, I have five yards of this, and that's enough to make me a pair of jogging pants and a maxi skirt and probably a t-shirt. So, I'm going to leave you with this one. Just pretty, pretty, beautiful sequin fabric tons of stuff out there and I can't wait to keep showing you what I'm working on because uh, this year of plaid is kind of nuts but I'm really excited for all this stuff too so I will talk to you later and I promise the next video will be a technique one bye guys